Hello everyone. Welcome to NPTEL. In this video series, we'll talk about how a gravity anomaly survey is carried out and what are the different corrections and how they are applied to the raw data. Before we begin, it is important to get familiar with two terms. The first one is geoid. This is an equipotential surface that best fits with the mean sea level. So this coincides with the surface of earth but has some regional undulations. And the second one is spheroid. As you know that earth is not a perfect sphere. So to calculate the ideal acceleration due to gravity values of homogeneous earth, a geometrical surface of spheroid shape is assumed. We measure the gravity value on the topography. What we are measuring is contribution due to all the density bodies from center to that point. If at this point every layer from the center of earth to this point is homogeneous then we get no gravity anomaly. But when there is some density contrast present we get a gravity anomaly which is attributed to our target which is the density anomaly. Now let us begin with how gravity anomaly surveys are carried out. We have an instrument called gravimeter which gives us some number that makes no sense at all. But it does when we have a reference. These references are called base station where standard gravity values are already established. Now you take your gravimeter there and again it gives you some number. But remember you know the absolute gravity value at this place. Now we have to start making a plot. This is called base station curve where you measure base station reading with respect to time. After your first base station reading, you proceed to the field where you have pre-planned your survey. Let's say that your survey area is a 100 by 100 km area and you have grids. You start taking your survey at a point, let's say A. What you measure is the coordinates and height with a high precision GPS time and of course the reading of gravimeter. You record the same data at all of the points along the line. Well stop here. Now you have to go back to the base and take your base reading again and plot it on your curve. This same procedure is followed again and again for all the lines. At the end of every line base reading has to be taken. Now what you have is a data sheet of survey where you have coordinates time and gravimeter reading, a base station curve and an absolute gravity value at the base. Now go to your data sheet, start with any reading, take the corresponding time, find it on the base curve, take the corresponding gravimeter reading. Now you need to subtract this reading from survey reading. Now whatever value you got, positive or negative, multiply it with the scale of gravimeter, then add it to the absolute value at the base. Then you will produce the absolute gravity value at your survey point. If we repeat this for all the grid points, we have absolute value for every point. We have now successfully generated the raw data for our survey area. This is how we generate absolute gravity values and apply base correction as well, which accounts for the temporal variations. Well, the raw data is of no use to us. There are certain corrections that has to be applied to obtain gravity anomaly values. We will talk about those in our next video. Till then, take care.